Okay, so now let's open get feed. And here you can see by default, we are in this overview. Okay, and we can also go to date laboratory to check the date. And preview is where if we want to export the visualizations. Okay, so first let's op create a new project. And right now we can see it is empty because we don't have any data yet. Okay, and on the left side, this is where we can control the visualizations. In the middle, so this is where the network will be uh, displayed. And on the right side, so this is where we can do some filters and we can know the statistics of the current network. And also we can make some calculations like calculate average degrees, uh, modularity, connected component, eigenvalue centralities, etc. Okay, so let's first go to the data laboratory and let's say we want to add some node. So let's say add node, let's add a, node A, uh, node B, node C, node D, and node F, or node E and F. Let's just add five nodes. Okay, A, B, C, D, E. And the next, let's make those connections. So let's go to Edge, and here let's add Edge. So the first, so to simplify the network, so let's say that um, let's add an undirected that from A to B. Let's add another Edge that from A to C. Okay. And next, let's add and directed directed uh, adage that is from D to E. All right. Uh, so now let's go to our overview. So here we can see we have those uh, five nodes. Okay. Uh, if you choose this hand icon, and you can drag those nodes. Okay. And let's give it some slight different color. Okay. And we can also change the size. Okay. So let's say 20. And we can also label those nodes. So let's say check uh, this T. Uh, we can make sure that it is scaled to the node size. So here we can see we have node A, node B, and node, node C. And for the node D and node E, you can see there's adage from D to E. Okay, so this uh, is a directed network. Okay, and for this one, so that is undirected network. But together, okay, so that is a network that we have. So here, let's talk about some um, basic measurements or analysis uh, for the network data. So the most popular one are called the centrality measurements. So those include uh, the degrees, okay, and also closeness and also betweenness. So if we want to measure at the immediate connections from from those immediate connections, we can measure the in degree, out degree. So those are for the direct network, okay. So in degree means that um, how many edges are instant on the network on the node. Alt degree is that how many direct edges originate from a node. Okay. And degree just means that the number of edges that um, a node have, okay, a node has, so it's regardless of is that in degree or out degree. Okay, so degree equals in degree plus out degree. Okay, so those are the degrees. And from this entire graph level, we also have the closeness and also betweenness. Okay, again, so let's go back to the our uh, graph. So let's see what is the degree of uh, node A. So the degree should be two, right? Because it has two nodes that being connected. Okay, and for the for node C, the degree should be one. Okay, and also what is in degree for node E? 
Okay, so in degree should be one and the out degree should be zero. Okay, so we can also calculate those degrees. So if we go to the right side, you can see the average degrees. So if we run it, so first it will give us a degree distribution. Okay, and we can see that there are four nodes that has one degree and there's one node that has degree of two. Okay, and so if we now use this query and we click C, we can see for C the degree is one. For node A, the degree is two. Okay, and for node E, the degree is one. Okay, for node D, the degree is also one. Okay, and we can also go to the tables and to see the degrees. Okay, so two, one, one, one. Okay, um, looks like they only treated this one as an undirected network. So here you can see this is a mixed degrees. Oh, uh, a mixed degrees. Uh, mixed graph. Okay, so they only calculated the degrees. It did. They didn't calculate the in degree or out degree. And we can also change uh, the visualization of the network based on the value of the degrees. So, for example, if we choose node, and we choose a size and also ranking. So now you can see we have degrees, and now the minimal size is one, maximal size is four. Okay, so let's use that as default one and let's hit apply. Okay, so probably that is too small. So let's say the minimal to be five and the maximal to be 10. Okay, and now let's apply. Okay, so here you can see that node A has the highest degree, node C, B, D and E have the lower degree. Okay, so that is how we can calculate the matters and also how we can visualize the network. OK, let's say that we don't want a mixed graph. So let's go to the data laboratory and let's make some changes. So let's delete uh, those um, edges. So those undirected. OK, so let's make that as directed. OK, so let's add edge and let's say from A to B, okay, and also from A to C, okay, so now you can see this is directed graph, okay, so uh, it is uh, because all the edges are have directions, so now let's run the average degree again, so this time we have in degree, okay, and we also have the out degree, okay. Uh, so now if we go to the ranks, we can see we can choose in degree. We can see in this case C, B and E. OK, they have higher in degrees. And if we switch to the out degree. OK, and we can see A and D have higher out degrees. OK, and we can also go back. OK, and also change those uh, back to undirected. A network. So let's also delete those edges again. Okay. Uh, again, this time let's put everything to be undirected. Okay. Still, we use A to B and also A to C. And let's say D and E are undirected. OK, so this time you can see it is undirected. And now if we rerun this average degree, we only have degrees. OK, and if we choose degree, you can see it has a highest degree. OK, and also C and B, D and E have the same degree.